apologizing one day after a man drowned there. We found out 20-year-old Narula Tajik died while he was out on a paddle boat. And he was not wearing a life jacket. And Coyne wants to know what's being done to prevent future tragedies. We sent our Chris Holmstrom to find out. He joins us live from Blue Lake Park. Chris. And Jeff and Jennifer, that 20 year old man rented one of the paddle boats that you see right over here. It's actually one of the more popular activities here on the lake. When I saw the paddle boat, it was over there empty and it floated all the way down to the end. Karen Swenson lives right on the water. She was home as crews were searching for Narula Tajik. It was just, it was terrible. Authorities say he was on the paddle boat with the woman. Apparently, they jumped off after their boat took on water. They then tried to swim to shore. The woman saved by a bystander. It was too late for Tajik. A horrifying moment for his family. And she was just so upset, screaming, and everybody was upset. So, um, but I, we all watched those of us who were out here for hours. And, you know, they don't know it, but we were sending them lots of energy. We found out Tajik was not wearing a life jacket. Even though they are provided by River Trails Inc., the company that rents the paddle boats. Jen Keisler Sorns is the park manager. We require life jackets to be worn in all of our boats as they're out in the water, and we do not allow swimming out in our lake. And the signs are everywhere, but I wanted to know how they enforce the rules. Well, when they first check in, they're uh, provided our rules, they're provided their life jackets, they're instructed to wear those as they are um, provided their boat. And then once they're out in the water, we have our lake patrol boats. During our interview, crews actually spotted someone on a boat who was not wearing a life jacket. That's when the boat patrol went over and told them to put it on. They complied. Neighbors also helping enforce the rules. Now I tell them to, you know, you know, sometimes if they're right here and they're swimming, I say, please get back in your boat. And if they don't, I will call across and they actually will take them out sometimes. So. But unfortunately, accidents sometimes happen. We're very sorry and uh, we're all with them. You know, our hearts go out to all of them. And it's important to note that these rules are just for Blue Lake Park in Oregon and Washington. When boating, life jackets are required by state law for children that are 12 and under. Reporting live from Fairview, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Coin6 News. Chris, thanks. And remember, cooling centers are.